Uh, the ticket is official. Let's get the, the motor running. And that seems appropriate because today Lawrence is joining us from South Dakota, the world famous Sturgis Rally. Hey, Lawrence. Hey, Lawrence. Hey, good morning, family. Uh, I, I guess you guys are right. We're going to be talking about this for a while. I, I guess the most interesting thing about it is, I mean, she doubled down. I mean, she was already considered one of the most progressive people in the Democratic Party. And she says, you know what, I'm not going to moderate at all. I'm going to choose one of the most progressive governors that are literally allowed a city to burn while his wife essentially laughed about it. Yeah, I mean, his wife was she really enjoyed all of that apparently when the city her cities were yeah. burning she opened up the window of her house she said so that she could smell in all of the the burning smells the burning tires and be yeah. a part of history she said she wanted to breathe in a historic moment well the new york uh, post has got the cover this morning out of left field keep in mind he comes to us from uh, the great state of minnesota so he's out there in the middle uh, and he certainly is to the left. As you can see, uh, up in the upper left-hand corner, it says, Veep nod for Minnesota Governor Walls makes him the most radical ticket in history. And then in a very clever little bit of writing, it says, Kamala's ad lib, as in ad liberal. Yeah, I mean, this is, Brian, sorry, I know it's your turn to talk, but this is such a gift for Donald Trump because they are so opposite of Donald Trump and what the conservative party stands for. This is a very, very left progressive ticket. No, I got nothing. I was exactly going to say. Sorry. Turn, no, I'm only kidding. Uh, I, that's why Donald Trump put on Truth Social. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, and he's going to be joining us in an hour. Uh, and here's the thing. The, what, what bothered, we're about to go through what he stands for. All I'm going to say is, if you stand for somebody, just say it. Just go, I'm to the left, I'm a liberal guy. Yeah. Just like, if you ask a, a Republican, are you a conservative? They say yes. If you ask a, a, a Democrat, are you a liberal? They go, no, why do you say that? But you are a liberal. Just say, I'm to, this is what I believe. I, I believe in a whole bunch of things when it comes to an illegal immigrant. I want to give them everything. I want to give them a driver's license. I want to give them free health care. I want to give them free schooling. Ladders. Hey, yeah, I would, yeah if, you, uh, if you are going to build a wall, I'm going to build a, a higher ladder. I'm going to give that to you. Uh, I'm going to give free lunches and free breakfast to everybody with taxpayer dollars. Even though we're out of surplus, could it be used to other things or giving people back their money? Even to people who are rich and have it. That's what I believe. Everyone should get it. And the thing is, he's running from his record, and now they're saying he's a moderate. But let's look at under his leadership, just a few bullet points, Lawrence. Under his leadership, Minnesota rolled out subsidized health care for illegals. They signed a law making Minnesota a sanctuary city for children seeking gender affirming care. So just like California, if that makes you happy, parents, right. that they're doing things that make you that in school that you don't want to do at home, that's okay. You pick the perfect state. Uh, they signed a new law making abortion a fundamental right. Uh, meanwhile, all the way to the terms, uh, to the full term of the baby, including five babies at one full term, and were not given anything for their health care. And during COVID, they were as locked down as any state in the union, and they encouraged people with a hotline to tell on their neighbors if they were breaking any of the COVID rules. You know, Brian. Okay, you, just embrace it. Yes. Just say that to me. To your point, yep. Brian, uh, they did not mention any of that last night. And you know what? It's not also, like they didn't have enough time, Steve. Yeah. They were on for an hour. They had they had plenty of time. You know what else they did not? Neither one of them. They spoke for 50 minutes. You know what else they never once mentioned? Joe Biden. They never so once mentioned yeah, no. his name, Where which is, is extraordinary. Yeah, exactly. And they never, Mr. Waltz and uh, Madam uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, neither one of them really talked about the record. That, and that's the beautiful thing about people who've been in politics in the public life for a long time. There's a lot of video of them talking about things they believe in. Because he's brand new, we thought we'd give you a little montage of what Mr. Walls is all about. Don't ever, don't ever shy away from our progressive values. One person's socialism is another person's neighborliness. Just do the damn work. This is that catch-22. The more police are there, the more tension it is. The more tension it is, the more chance you have to get things. Protecting and supporting access to gender-affirming health care is essential to being a welcoming and supportive state to the community. He talks about this wall. I always say, let me know how high it is. If it's 25 feet, then I'll invest in the 30-foot ladder factory. We saw large, peaceful protests, a society that does not 
put equity and inclusion at the center of it is certainly going to uh, eventually uh, come to the places where we're at. I think the mayor said I request the National Guard. Whew, I'm out this great. We're going to have massively trained troops. No, you're going to have 19-year-olds who are cooks in some cases. And what are we going to do and how are we going to use them? So diminish Lawrence. I mean, <laughs> this is an unbelievable record. So the question is, is the media going to ask any questions? Where do you stand on law and order? Do you still believe that we should defund the police? Do, are, do, the next time we have this massive tragedy in the country where there's outrage in the country, do you believe that the National Guard should sit back and allow them to just burn buildings? Are you still going to continue to give care gender affirming care to minors to minors before they can make decisions as adults do you believe in just nuking the economy and making it hard for business i i think we deserve to know where they stand on these issues and for i guess it has, has it been 17 days there has been zero questions now we got a full ticket now so maybe the media gets a little curious uh in the future brian lawrence yeah. lawrence uh he is he said he's against fracking. He's against drilling. Under Waltz, Minnesota joined New York, California, and Illinois as the state that people of all ages are leaving because of these policies. Uh, Minnesota became a high crime state for the first time ever under Waltz. When it comes to guns, if you have an assault weapon, he wants to take that away from you. He wants to ban them. When it comes to illegals, he wants all of us who work really hard to pay for their health care, their tuition, give them driver's licenses. Why? So they can go out and vote. Right. Um, he, during COVID, he set up a hotline <laughs> so you could tattletale <laughs> on all your friends that were breaking the rules. Oops. He restricted youth sports. He had long, long periods of remote schooling for the kids. And then he said on CNN, with Donald Trump's wall, if it's 25 feet, I want to I wanna have a right. ladder factory to build, build ladders to give to illegals that are 30 feet right. so they can climb the wall. So I'm just saying, so just embrace it. Just say I'm really proud of my ladder deal idea. It's a fantastic one. Anderson Cooper That's seems right. to like it. Uh, but the other thing is he also is for green energy. He's a big green guy. He wants to get 50% of the cars in Minnesota uh, running on electric cars. Right now it's 1%. Good luck with that sprint to the finish in the next few years. The other thing that drives me crazy is this is a 20-year ban on mining. I did not know this, but rare earth, for the most part, in America is found in Minnesota. And they got these companies there that are ready to do it responsibly, environmentally. We got the rules and regulations to do it the right way, just with oil and drilling, same way. And he's allowed and supported a 20-year ban on oil strip mining while also pushing for electric cars, which brings up uh, China. Because China has a way to, uh, they basically lassoed any rare earth they don't have in their own country. They go into Africa, they take it, they have children mining with spoons. So they get the rare earth, they make the batteries, and then we have this clean yeah. electric car. But if we have this clean electric car and he reaches well, he goes goals. He to China a lot. But yeah, he goes to China 30 times. He loves it. He loves China. Okay, <laughs> loves China. That's yeah. fantastic. So maybe he wants them to benefit from this, and maybe he's one of these candidates that China had eyed early in order to gain power to be an ally should they ascend to power, they, they might have a real ally in the White House. Well, you know, when you think about it, over the last uh, week or so, we have seen Kamala Harris essentially run from her record because now uh, they've leaked her new platform, essentially, to the New York Times, where all that stuff she used to be against, now she's for. When you look at Mr. Walsh... But it's not on the website yet. November 6th. No, it's not yet. Uh, it's got it. It's got to be adopted by the DNC. Someone's got to get a password week. and be able to log in there. That's all. We could hack into it. Yeah. Kid, that's, kids no, don't do yeah, that. They don't do that. So anyway, as you look at her, she's running from her record to appear more moderate. When, compared to uh, Mr. Walls, she is a moderate because he is so far to the left. And that is what his opponent, J.D. Vance, had to say with Sean Hannity last night, uh, talking a little bit about his record and what actually happened in the summer of 2020. Governor Waltz actually promoted the Black Lives Matter rioters who set Minneapolis on fire, destroyed a lot of black businesses, destroyed a lot of wealth in these historically black neighborhoods, and it really caused the poverty to skyrocket in Minneapolis. The fact that he was supporting the rioters burning down Minneapolis and then Kamala Harris was trying to bail them out of prison suggests they're the wrong team for this country. We don't want that approach taken nationwide. Lawrence? You know, guys, I was there. I was there 
when the riots were happening. I was there as the police were told to stand down. And I was there when those black businesses that were in the community could not rebuild because they allowed them to be torched. There were grandmas that couldn't even go to the pharmacy yeah. because the pharmacy was no longer there because they allowed it. They took over our entire police precinct that has still not been repaired. So this is the guy that you want to be the next vice president of the United States. Right. I think I'll take a pass. Yeah, 40 percent of the police force has resigned, quit or uh, uh, been let go. So they've lost 40 percent of their police force has not bounced yeah. back. And he thinks law and order is something he's going to run on. You know what? Also, I could think a couple of things. Stop calling people weird. Number one, in America, we're supposed to embrace everyone's little, it has their own little idiosyncrasies. You keep on saying weird as if it's this great thing to describe the other ticket and saying things about J.D. Vance, he's wearing eyeliner. That's the way he looks, okay? Uh, that's his, he doesn't wear an eyeliner, number one. Number two, why are you calling people weird while you stand on stage with people talking about transgender care and the need to be tolerant and understanding? Uh, <laughs> but you're going out of your way to call a guy that was already president of the United States who just got 70 million votes that he's weird. Do you realize for the last time when you call those people weird, it reflects on the 70 million people that voted for him because obviously they're weird. Can we stop the name call? It's just calling? a very strange adjective. It's crazy. It's, so let him keep calling it. I it mean, is. it makes him look bad. It d let him keep doing it. it, it yeah, it's his catchphrase. He invented it. He's going to keep using it. You know, it's there's childish. Some, sometimes uh, big political, or rather new political figures burst on the scene, as he did yesterday, where you don't know a lot about him. Uh, but because he's been in service for a long time, there's we a lot got of a, We got a lot. We, we've got a lot, <laughs> and we will share that with you. Also, we're going to get uh, Donald Trump's first live network reaction. He's going to be joining us just about an hour and 15 minutes from right now, right here on your number one cable morning news show for about 20 years. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.